Kermit Gosnell. In the year 2013, this physician was found guilty of the very thing that Senator Sass has described this morning. Where is he today? Do we need a new law to go get him? No, you'll find him in prison, serving a life sentence without parole plus 30 years. He broke the law by doing exactly what Senator Sass has described. Kermit Gosnell is in prison, as he rightly should be. Um, Two distinctions that matter though, federal law versus state law. Though federal law it recognizes the dignity and the personhood of these babies who've been born alive, it doesn't actually criminalize killing them uh, or denying them care. And so about half of states don't have any prohibition on this and the federal law doesn't have any punishment or prohibition. And second of all, there's active killing versus passive killing. And the practice that we're gonna talk about today, and I know that Ms. Stanek's uh, testimony is gonna deal with directly, is the practice of allowing these babies to die by simply removing and withholding all care from them. So I, I agree in the spirit of Senator Durbin's comments that there are multiple places that we agree. Um, there's also still lots and lots of gaps that we, we need to tackle. This is about not, not about a woman's body, this is about the infant who defied the odds of a violent act of abortion and who should be given the chance to defy the odds again. And there's nothing wrong with giving a child who is defenseless care to probably survive. Doctors don't always get the diagnosis right. And if they came out alive, shouldn't they be given care? That's the issue at hand here today.